Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion, Shivering Isles with me, Varex, Sivarex, and Haskill. Indeed, it is. He was talking to you guys, not to me. Um, so, yeah, Shigaroth is gone. Transmorph died. And, um, I guess this is the guy we have to speak to about it. Also, I haven't turned off the point oh, of interest. Just remembered. That was a thing. Still there. Oh. I could stop now and change it, but I'm just gonna. I've, I've recorded for 36 seconds. I'm gonna keep going. Run, bud. He is gone, but hope is not lost. We have a rare opportunity here, but I hesitate to do what must be done. I'll do it. If the throne of madness remains empty when Jigalag storms the palace, he will prevail. But there is a chance that the throne may not be empty. Being my guest. Why do you care? I'm gonna. I'm, that's. I, that's not really a question that that, that that you should ask. I mean, that's a really odd thing. A really odd line of questioning at, at this stage. It's like you know. So this guy you serve in this realm that you live in um, is is all going to be kaput very soon. Well, what's what's your your issue here? This question didn't come up during the Oblivion Crisis, so I'm wondering why I have to ask it here. But I shall ask it nonetheless. My duty now is to the realm. By serving you, I serve Lord Sheogorath. The only way to protect the realm from the Grey March is to place you in the Throne of Madness. Oh. All right, I, I see. Sir Varyax. <clears throat> On the Throne of Madness. But I'm not. I'm a lot of things, okay? I am the Divine Crusader. I am the Grand Inquisitor. And I am the Duke of Dementia. But I am not a Daedric Prince. True, but perhaps you can hold the throne, provided that you possess the proper symbol of office, namely the Staff of Sheogorath. I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm like, yep, yeah, okay, I'm done with that. What must I do? Unfortunately, when Sheogorath faded, the power of the staff faded with him. It must now be remade. The staff is the symbol of power in this realm. He who rightfully holds the staff may hold the throne of the Shivering Isles. However, the secrets of its construction are lost. Oh, well, there we go then. Lost? You said there was hope! That which is lost can be found again. There is one being in the Shivering Isles <laughs> who may be able to assist you in the construction of a new So staff. cliche. <laughs> the ruins of Knife Point Hollow once served as a great library. There you will find a door. Behind that door you will find the answer you seek. Although I hesitate to guide you towards this path, the secrets of the past will surely aid Jigalag, but I fear that we have no other choice. Be mindful of what you find there. The library is a thing of order, and it will still serve that end. Take this crystal. It contains the power to open the sealed door. Inside, you will find the final remnants of the library. Knife Point Hollow, you say? Knife Point Hollow is near the core of the Shivering Isles. Follow the setting sun to the border of Mania. Climb the cliff there to the top. At the peak, you will find Knife Point Hollow. Yeah, I've been there. Get the staff, yeah? While not the source of the Daedric Prince's authority, each Daedric artifact provides that prince with a measure of power. Lord Sheogorath chose you to sit on his throne. With the staff, you may be able to do just that. My work is never done. So what's behind here? Do I have to become the god of madness? Is that what you're saying? I... Maybe temporarily. Okay. I've been to Knife Point Hollow. Well, everything's the same out here. Hail, Duke of Dementia. 
Don't need that. So it should be relatively easy to find again. Especially with all these icons at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, bigger, bigger fish to fry, bigger things going on now. You need to get over that. I mean, yeah, it was a victory. And it was it was nice. But um, yeah, now we, we got we got we got other stuff happening. Like the end of the world. Yes. Right there. Yeah, we've been there. We'll just go there again. Could fast travel. But it feels like this is um, one of those journeys that should be walked. My only worry is that I didn't see any caves by there. So if Knife Point Hollow Cave is under the water... Well, we have done that kind of thing before. Uh, when we... During Night of Nine Revelations, where we... Uh, we, we dug out a fallen meteor to create some kind of weapon. So it has happened before. So wouldn't be terrible if, it, if we had to do that again. Wouldn't be completely breaking character. But I'm sure Mr. Varex here would not be a fan. Uh, I reckon it's up there. Let's, uh, let's to this, um, this ridge. It'd be easy to go down to it and try to get up to it. I think it's that. Yeah, so I've got points of interest, but no arrow. <laughs> Oops, unless I haven't... Um... No, I have. I have. Alright, it's not this one, it's the next one. That's no bother. Yep, we've been this way before. Hence why we're doing it again, I suppose. You know. Easier path to take and all that. Switch to Sun Child. I don't want to use any charges of my awesome weapons. And things I don't really intend to. So. If there's a cave around here, it'll be on that. Maybe I have seen it before. I just didn't go in. Maybe I couldn't go in. Maybe there wasn't a cave at all. There is a cave. Let's go in. First thing we find is loot. I love this place already. I wonder what kind of enemies we're going to find here. Cool, I like it. I wonder what kind of uh, flesh Atronach I can summon. Because there's mended ones and all that kind of thing. Blade ones. And... I just wonder how far in this area we're going to get. Or I have to use this pistol thing. Maybe that's it. That's it. This isn't much of a library, is it? Are you dead? I have been waiting for you, Your Grace. This day, as all days before and after, is well known to me. There are no surprises to Dias of Mithera. Sheagorath has fallen, and you seek the means to foil the machinations of the Prince of Order. You seek the throne of Vance. However, no mortal may sit upon the throne without the staff, so here you are in my prison, seeking to supplant the one who placed me here. If you wish to take the place of Shale Gorath, then 
Ask me what you will. Why did he put you here? Who are you? You were expecting a book. Yes. An ancient tome filled with the secrets that you seek. But instead you have found me. The last remnant. Hmm. That's nice. The individuality is an illusion. The details of my existence are no more important than the history of a stone. Well, actually. However, if you insist, I once served as the keeper of the great library of Jigalak. The history of a stone can be quite interesting and tells quite a lot. Actually. So, um... <clears throat> How have you survived? I suppose that's our first question, isn't it? A curse. Following each cycle of the Grey March, Sheogoreth has cast out or killed every aspect of order found in the Shivering Isles. I alone have survived. Sheogoreth cannot bring himself to destroy the knowledge that I possess. Instead, he's confined me to this place and forbidden me to die. I have not seen another creature until fate, predictably, sent you to me. I think you'd like to want to hug or something, wouldn't you? Like, haven't seen anyone in, in God knows how long. You'd be like, oh thank goodness, another person. <laughs> What's the sun feel like or anything? But no. Tell me about the library then. The great library was the height of logic and deduction. Contained within its walls with a logical prediction of every action ever taken by any creature, mortal or daedric. Every birth, every death, the rise of Tiber Septum, the Nemidium, everything, all predicted with the formula found within Jigalag's library. When Shea Gorath discovered the library, he had it burned, insisting that it was an abomination and that personal choice defied logical prediction. I am all that remains of the knowledge contained within the great library of Jigalag. Apparently, I've heard enough. As you wish. Can't really blame... Um, oh, there's more in there, though. Oh, there. Likes me more. If only I had some kind of spell or something. Pass on him to make him like me more. If I was Shigarath, I'd probably destroy something like that as well. Why, why would you want to predict everything? I know this reason... I suppose that's a kind of a silly question, but at the same time, it's not whether you you could; it's whether you should. Type thing. Individuality is an illusion. However, if you insist, I once served as the keeper of the great library of Chikalak. Okay, fine. Life Point Hollow is my prison. As the great library it once contained all the knowledge and creation. However, spare me a grief. I am prison and this is meaningless as my immortality. Okay. Time and place are nothing. Constructs of a feeble mortal mind attempting to categorize and understand the world around it. If you were one of the unfortunate few, you would one day understand and accept this. However, you are not and you will not. Good. All right, tell me about the staff then. I can create the physical shell of the staff, but the divine essence must be gathered elsewhere. But apotheosis is no simple matter, and the creation of the staff is no simple task. I will require two sacred items in order to complete it. A fetch quest? An oblivion? Madness! Oh, no, wait, that, that fits perfectly. Um... Tell me about the first item. The Shivering Isles hold many secrets, but few remain unseen by mortal eyes. The staff is a tool of great vision and thus requires the eye of one who has witnessed one of these unseen secrets firsthand. Sirta resides in the Howling Halls of Mania, and find her and bring me the eye that is seen that which no other has. Well, I literally just take her eye. The second? The trees and branches of this realm feed from a deep font of madness and mystery. One of the oldest trees, named the Tree of Shades, lies in the halls of Milkar. Milkar is a place of ruin, root, and mania. 
Go there and bring me a branch of this tree, but be warned. The tree will not surrender its secrets to one who has not earned them. So I'm going to take it to Patsa. Yes. Only then can I create an appropriate vessel to hold the power that is inherent in the Lord of this realm. The staff may allow you to occupy the throne of madness, but understand that such a feat has never been attempted. All sources indicate that you will fail. It is a certainty. However, I also predict that this will not stop you from trying. Now, if the guy who knows everything tells me it's a, it's a certain that I'm going to fail, I'm not really sure about. I could just I'm just going to just going to leave and go back to Cyrodiil. I got a castle there, you know, uh, be a bit more adult than I was, but. Hey, you know, I was always a bit... I've been so I was always a bit strange and odd and weird. Hmm. Kind of is me as well, but... So, the Eye. The staff of Sheogorath holds the secrets of this realm. As such, it requires a vessel that has witnessed dark secrets. Sirta has seen things with her eyes that no mortal has. Because of this, her eye will serve well to contain that which the staff must hold. Maybe she'll just give me her eye? I mean, for the greater good and all that? The roots of the Tree of Shades run into the heart of the Shivering Isles. It is said that the tree feeds from waters of the Grove of Reflection. The Grove can show men who they truly are. Oh, uh. Only after facing the truth will the Tree of Shades give up its branches to you. That's interesting. I hope that's more than just fighting a copy of yourself. And the staff. I can create the physical shell of the staff, but yeah. the divine the staff of Shale Gorath contains a portion of the Oops. divine power of the Daedric Prince. It is the embodiment of Shale Gorath and of this land. Should you succeed, you will be the first mortal to have a dedicated Daedric artifact in your possession. This would be most interesting indeed. Should you succeed, there is some doubt there. He is just not bothered, is he? He is just not bothered. Alright, I don't I don't want to go down there. Looks like some neat stuff and stuff, but I'll never get out again. So, let's get out and um, maybe, well, we'll see what's f nearest. Ah, okay. The so one is over there, and already been. Another one is... Oh, the Howling Halls. Okay, so it's probably just some enemy that I have to kill them. That's fair enough, I thought. For some reason, I thought the Howling Halls was somewhere in... in um, or something. Uh, well, they're both, like, obviously on opposite ends of the island, but that one is closer. So that one is what we will do next. Yeah, yes. Actually, next we're gonna... Kill a random enemy thing that's taken its oh. and dodge. That was predictable. And we go in the right way. That was not as predictable. Yeah, we have we have killed most of the denizens of the Shivering Isles now. I reckon we, we've wiped out you know, maybe at least 60% of the population of like everything that resides here. People seem to be the only thing that uh, we don't kill. I suppose it's because the people don't try and kill us. Everything else is hostile and wants to kill us. Everything. Okay, this looks like it could be fun. Yeah! I don't know why I expected that, really. 
Yes, I do. And I'll do another one. If nobody wants to stop me. Things over there. Oh, someone does. Well, too late. You lose. Um. Oh, okay. They'd rather attack the. Uh... Ah. Surprise! The uh, flesh atronox than moi. I'm just gonna kill everything here then. I think. Actually, I just wander off. I don't know, I'm kind of curious about this place. Like, who, who do all these things belong to? Where is this place? I haven't been here, otherwise, that two gold would have gone. Just let them fight amongst themselves. And the Atronox won. <clears throat> nothing to see here, nothing to see. So it's just some kind of camp. Yeah, the lockpick's gonna be useful. I took that. No food. Big mountains in the way. Oh, there is a path there, which leads, of course, up to split. So, um, get on the path and then go. Maybe. That will then guide us. If we just go straight um, this way, pretty much leads us there. So, yes, split. Um, so, when I killed all those people, I got a bounty for them all. Which I had a bit of a problem with, really. That's what that's what I got arrested for when I when I got back to uh, to the main city and someone said, "You have committed a crime." I said, "Well, I'll just pay the fine." I mean, the fine would have been about fifteen thousand coins. That's quite a lot, really, in it. Um, and I it's kind of silly, really, because you know these guys hated each other, and one side wanted the other side dead. So why would they report it as a crime? They don't really seem bothered, and they didn't say, ah, murder and stuff. Did you? You little sugar pie. There you go. You've done such a good job. Yes, you have. And yet, you turned me in to the police. Good work, you fuzzy little rascal. We don't need another Uro around, do we? Do so, so if they're all, like, so pleased that I killed Goodbye. the doubles, why would I get a bounty for it? I love happy endings. They're all happy. Take care. One, two, three. Hurry before I lose count! Five, six, seven. Duh! I just lost count! If you want to get close to the heretics, try putting on their robes. Tried that. See. Did you hear the one about the Argonian maid? I read it. So I said, wreck them? You killed him. <laughs> Great work. See? They're all really happy that the See other ones later. are dead. So why on earth would I get a bounty for doing it? You know that by the uh, word of law and everything, you know, that's what should have happened. But the situation would kind of mean that they wouldn't report that to the authorities, especially since there is no authorities to report it to. But anyway, um, we'll move on from that little venture. You are dead. Or at least playing dead. <gasps> oh my goodness! What else was that? I do, yeah, I see walking. Hello. See walking. There we go. Thanks for that.
Okay. Well, this all seems very familiar. I believe we have been here before. Well, in there at <gasps> least. Well, this is pointing us somewhere else. We're going to go and see a tree. Is this the tree? Because it's dead. Again, it's not it's not a normal tree where I was getting something to go. I need to do this because uh yeah, the Nexus. Ah, so it might be in here. Um, so I don't have the little arrow thing. I need the little arrow thing. Wow, we're just like lying around, as you do. I'll leave that for some other, someone else to stumble across. Here we are. I don't think I went in here before. I, I was like, oh, this looks important, and backed away. Probably. I'm going to check the minimap just in case. So if I've been here before, I have been here before. Oh, everyone. So I know exactly where I'm. Oh, don't be difficult. Don't be difficult. You're almost dead. Have I been here? No, okay. No little arrow, so I'm gonna have to explore properly. Yeah. Doesn't look like I have much choice here, does it? I have to go back! Oh, I got it. Oh well, this looks like the place, doesn't it? Okay, let's see if I can beat myself. Apparently not. Okay. Alright, okay, hello. <laughs> wow, that's I mean, it's kinda cool, but it's also like, you know, it's a little predictable. Hello, friend. How are you? Alright, let's, um... I think I'm on fire, but it's okay. Alright, let's summon some friends then, you know. I got I got this. I'll summon that. You're ducking a bit too much and stuff, you know. I don't even know what that is. Let's um, let's let's buff and stuff, you know, because we, we got that. But we've also, oh, we can summon Haskell. Something else, that one. Oh yeah, here we go. Stop trying to cast spells on me. You're a sword wielding warrior. I like how he's ignoring my summon. It's really working for me. Okay, where's that Mara's gift? We don't need that. I'll use it now. Actually. We've both got like massive reflex spells and stuff. There we go. Wow, okay. Alright. All right. There you go. The dark Severiax is dead. Long live Severiax. Bad? Bad old rend. Got on you, absolutely nothing. Shadow rend. 
Well, that has my attention. Shadow End is a two-handed blade. All right, let's have a look. One. All right, so the Madness Claymore is also a two-handed blade. It does more damage. It does damage health. This one does damage health for more and weakness to magic as well. This one has 90 uses. This one has 20. And it, this one's faster. No, they're about the same. They're the same. That was cool, though. That was cool. It was cool, but it was also, I mean, because I kind of hoped it wouldn't be, because as soon as they said, you know, the reflection of yourself, I thought, yeah, it's just an evil version of me. I thought, well, that would, that would be cool. It was cool. At the same time, you... I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I suppose it'll... It's it, it's okay. It's okay. It's just it's just what I expected it to be. And um, it's, it's what it was, and it was a good fight. So that's... That's, that's, that's fine. Let's move on. Okay, I got the screaming branch. Be quiet to me, but now we're just gonna try and escape. Aha. Alright, that's one down. That was two parts of that quest done that uh, that episode, so that was pretty good. We're gonna pretty good going. When it got the quest and did parts one and two. Next time part three, and then we'll see what, what happens after that. Yeah, next time we're off to uh, this place. The Howling Hall. So that should be cool. Right, everybody, thank you very much for joining me for that episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Thank you for watching. Good luck.